you believe it? No. Seeing that in your pool. Uh, who expects something? I wouldn't have even dreamed uh, something imagine. like that. Imagine. You know, why me? <laughs> What's, why you? What's in my house? Hi. Hi. Welcome to Netflix. Larry David, Jeff Green to see Don Winston Jr. Great. Just give me one sec. Don Jr. Don Jr. Yeah, Don Jr. How do you have a name like that? Must be horrible. Trump has really ruined it for all Don Juniors, hasn't he? I would not want that as my name. Oh, my God. All right, Larry. Jeff? Thank you. Elevators are to your right. Thank you. Oh, hey. You going to Albert Brooks's funeral? I have no choice. Who throws a funeral for themselves while they're alive? He does. And I have to speak. He's asked me to speak. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. All right, you ready for my pitch? Yeah. The show is called Young Larry. It's about my life when I was like 24, 25. I lived in Brooklyn with my parents, and my uncle, Mo, lived upstairs with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Mo was in his 70s. He pushed racks in the garment center, would take the subway every day. He never spent a nickel in his life, so he had over a million dollars saved up. Uh -huh. So one day, Uncle Mo comes up to me, and he says, I'm moving into the city, and I want you to live with me. And if you live with me, I'll leave all my money to you. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. So in the show, I move in with Uncle Mo. And uh, I do everything that I can to accelerate his demise. <laughs> so how does he try to kill him? Subtly, you know, like giving him terrible food to eat, Reuben sandwiches, <laughs> you know, making him climb up six flights of stairs, telling him the elevator's broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So young Larry, what's going on in his life right now? Like, what is, what is, what is okay, he doing? Okay, very good question. Thank you. He's a private chauffeur. He drives for an old woman. I was a private chauffeur. <laughs> I drove this old lady around. She was blind. I never cleaned the car. She had no idea. <laughs> and so he has this huge Cadillac limousine at his disposal that he uses all the time. And I was, a sta I was trying to be a stand-up comic. So I was just starting out doing my act. Oh, that's really interesting. <laughs> you know, we'll see him do stand-up sure. mm -hmm. when he's not chauffeuring or whatever. And, trying to kill his uncle. <laughs> wow. I love this. We love I think it. this is great. Really? Yeah. I think we want to do this show. In a word. In. Yeah. Yes, in. Yeah. I love really? that. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Purell, how about that? I'm good for now. I'm, good I'm for not now, a Purell thanks. hoarder. Remember the pandemic, the hoarders? Hell yeah. Nasty people. Terrible. They're like horse thieves in the Old West, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> OK. You'll find that I'm a pleasure to work with. <laughs> Don't give me any notes. That's all. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, it's not a joke. That's great. <laughs>